Pitch Count was first tracked by Major League Baseball in 1988. Pitch counts before 1988 are incomplete and unreliable, so everything I mentioned in this video will be from 1988 to present day. We all know complete games have been dropping over time, with fewer thrown today than at any point in MLB history. Starting pitchers are pitching less, and relievers are pitching more. Of the few complete games thrown nowadays, keeping the pitch count low is increasingly more difficult. I went ahead and looked at every game since 1988 that featured a pitcher throw at least 9 innings and throw no more than 90 pitches. Why 90 pitches? That's an average of 10 pitches per inning. 10 is a nice clean number, and a maximum average of 10 pitches per inning is elite efficiency. I originally wanted to look at 99 pitches or fewer, but increasing the minimum threshold from 90 to 99 skyrockets the number of games that have occurred. I also looked at 9 innings pitched in the game. It doesn't necessarily have to be a complete game. Sometimes a pitcher can throw 9 innings, but the game goes into extras. Since 1988, there have been 126 instances in which a pitcher threw at least 9 innings and threw 90 or fewer pitches. Also since 1988, there have been approximately 80,000 regular season games. 126 games out of 80,000 is about 0.16%. So yeah, it's tough to accomplish. Despite that, some pitchers appear on this list twice. Hall of Famers Tom Glavin and Roy Halladay have accomplished this feat twice. In recent times, Rick Porcello and Henderson Alvarez have also done it twice. Bob Tewksbury appears on this list an astounding five times, but the king is of course Greg Maddox. Maddox has thrown 9 innings on 90 or fewer pitches 10 times in his career, by far the most of any pitcher going back to 1988. If you don't know who Greg Maddox is, he is a Hall of Fame pitcher who is probably the greatest control pitcher in the live ball era. He excelled so much at controlling his pitches, there is a statistic called a Maddox, in which a pitcher throws a complete game in under 100 pitches. Maddox, naturally, is the all-time leader in this category. This is an official statistic, at least on MLB.com. The site lists it under idioms, but hey, if the official Major League Baseball website has it, it's official in my book. However, there is someone that has outdone him. Despite Maddox throwing a personal best 77 pitch complete game in 1997, that's not the record. The record for fewest pitches in 9 innings belongs to Aaron Cook. He appears on this list not once, not twice, but three times. Not only does he appear on this list three times, all three are within the top 20 ranking. Maddox, for comparison, appears once in the top 20. Cook has thrown three complete games with under 90 pitches. One with 81, one with 79, and one with 74. He's the only pitcher to have three such games at or under 81 pitches. That 74 pitch performance is tied with Carlos Silva for fewest pitches thrown in 9 innings. If you've never heard of Aaron Cook, I don't blame you. Who is this pitcher whose top performances were more efficient than the king himself, Greg Maddox? Cook pitched for 11 seasons in the big leagues, all but one with the Colorado Rockies. He's perhaps best remembered for being a part of the Rockies team in 2007 that went to the World Series. He pitched in the final game of that World Series, picking up the loss in Game 4 as the Red Sox swept the Rockies. He was a one-time All-Star where he threw three scoreless innings in the 2008 All-Star game. He is the last and will be the last pitcher to ever throw three innings in an All-Star game. Fun fact, the last player before Cook to throw at least three innings in an All-Star game was Greg Maddox. Across his career, Cook pitched 1,400 innings with a lifetime record of 76 and 79. He holds a 4.60 career ERA and 103 adjusted ERA. Cook's career might seem average, but he's one of the best pitchers in Rockies history. He's just one of three pitchers in Rockies history to throw at least 1,000 innings for them. In a six-season stretch from 2004 to 2009, Cook went 57 and 43 across 928 innings with a 4.09 ERA and 117 adjusted ERA. For a guy that had to pitch half his games at Coors, he was pretty good. Ironically, it was in Coors where Cook made history. On July 25th, 2007, Aaron Cook took the mound against the San Diego Padres and promptly threw a 74-pitch complete game. He
He allowed two runs in the first inning, but settled in after and only allowed three hits to San Diego the rest of the game. Cook never allowed a count to get the three balls, not one plate appearance. He was in complete control, getting ahead of the Padres all day long and also getting numerous first pitch outs, eight to be exact. In fact, Cook actually got better as the game progressed. He threw 42 pitches through the first four innings and 35 through the final five innings. 35 pitches in five innings, an average of seven per inning. I think the amazing part is, despite the fact this is the record for fewest pitches, Cook still allowed seven hits and two runs. It's not as if the Padres couldn't do anything at all. They reached base several times and had multiple extra base hits. Hey, if the Padres pitchers were any better, they could have limited the Rockies to zero runs and won the game despite Cook's amazing performance. The San Diego hitters simply were not taking pitches all game, swinging early on. What Cook did that day was something not even Maddox could achieve. It's the most efficient game in the pitch count tracking era. Maddox may have the quantity, but Cook has the quality. Will we ever see a game as efficient as Cook's again? Probably not, with the way players take at bats now and just how staggeringly difficult it is for pitchers to have such low pitch counts. That 74 pitch count game occurred in 2007, and the record for fewest pitches in a 9 inning performance since 2010 is 81, thrown in a 2012 game by Aaron Cook. Who else would it be?